Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a new series for you today. It's called uh, Living with JCW. Um, so I'm just gonna be covering a few things that I've sort of noticed while living with uh, my Mini John Cooper Works. Uh, so in today's episode, we're gonna be looking at performance, um, which is something obviously that this car's mostly orientated towards. Uh, so as mentioned previously in our review and things like that, this car has the B48 engine from BMW, which makes 231 horsepower and 236 pounds for a torque. Um, it's a two litre unit with a twin scroll turbo, so it provides plenty of performance, uh, especially in the low end, really torquey down low. So we're on some back roads today, we're just gonna be doing a bit of driving and just talk to you a bit about what it's like. Yeah, so that's one thing you do get. With that torque down low, you get quite a bit of wheel spin, sort of second gear, sometimes even in the third as well. Uh, but I mean, generally, this car is really quite agile on the back roads. I know one of the talking points for these are its weight, and yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a heavy car compared to what they used to be, but in today's standards, it's still a light car. Um, you know, a lot of cars are pushing that 1500 kilo sort of realm now, whereas this is kind of 1280 to 1300. Um, so it really does handle quite nicely. Uh, it's completely op open differential, but it's got torque vectoring by braking, which I've men mentioned before, um, which basically uses the brakes to evenly distribute the power and to try and limit wheel spin, which is nice coming out of corners. So we pitch it in, not too much understeer, it's just a little bit, you've got to work it in, but you can be flat completely out, which is nice. Got that automatic rev matching as well, which, you know, it's nice on a daily basis, I guess. Obviously, doing heel and toe is quite satisfying, uh, but it's very easy to use that auto rev matching feature. Yeah, plenty of power, I have to say. I guess one of the other things uh, with performance is the handling and suspension setup. Um, so this car, you can get it with adaptive dampers. Uh, I do not have adaptive dampers, I've just got the standard suspension setup. So it's quite firm, sort of through town, especially this time of year when the roads get full of potholes, it can be quite, uh, quite a rough ride. But it's definitely set up well for the likes of back roads. Uh, it, it doesn't really jump over any bumps, it tends to stick to the road pretty well. Um, and it doesn't roll too much. There's a little bit of roll, more than you'd probably want from a car of this sort of type, but uh, I've heard of people switching to sort of aftermarket setups and completely eliminating that, uh, especially with a new set of tires, you can really, uh, really make it handle well. I think it's fair to say this car is definitely at home on the uh, on the back roads and the B roads, especially the type that we have in the UK, which are sort of nice windy ones. It's not that it's slow, but definitely uh, handling is definitely a bit of a strong point for it. 
Let's do a little acceleration for you now. Up to 60. You always get a little bit of wheel spinning first, but it does hook up. Pull strong in second, and then 60. Officially it's 6.3 seconds. I haven't officially timed it actually uh, in, in proper conditions. Uh, obviously in the UK it's quite hard to get proper conditions. Um, and with the tyres I've got on, it's not really set up, especially for launching. It tends to break loose quite easily. Uh, it's the Pirelli P7 Cinturato run flat tyre, which is a bit of a shame that they come with run flats. I've mentioned that before. I don't really get why you'd put run flats on a performance oriented car, but uh, to be fair, they have saved me once. I got a puncture a couple of months back and you know, it did its job. It got me back without having to change any tyres sort of out on the road, uh, which was nice, but yeah, it would be better to have something like a Pilot Super Sport or, you know, something of that type. You can hear that exhaust going as well. <laughs> it's quite a nice thing to have. Obviously get a pro exhaust on these which is a hell of a lot louder. Second gear out of here then. A little bit of wheel spin, it's not ideal conditions. It's quite muddy this little stretch. Yeah, traction controls are uh, definitely interfering a bit. It's quite a classic BMW traction control system where it's just constantly cutting power. I guess it's quite a nice thing to have this time of year when it's wet and greasy and stuff, but um, you've really got to turn it off to get the full out of this car, full potential out of it. So I guess one of the other things with a car like this is the sound. Uh, as you might know, a lot of these cars have an augmented sound for the engine in them these days. This car definitely does. Um, I mean, that's for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the engines are getting more and more efficient, so they're quieter. And then it's the same for the exhaust as well. They have to be quieter now, um, along with the EU emission standards as well, which makes them quieter. So sound is one of those things that's always suffering, but it does still sound quite good. You can probably hear the exhaust going a little bit. And then obviously the in-car stuff. It does sound quite nice, sounds quite, uh, it's quite a strong engine. A little second gear pull. Sounds good, you can hear the exhaust going again. Yeah, it's uh, definitely pleased with the sound, even if it is slightly, uh, slightly fake. Still sounds like a four cylinder at least, some of these manufacturers making cars sound like something they're not. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, I hope we gave you a bit of an insight as to what this car's like performance wise, uh, and what it's like to live with. Um, definitely a great car performance wise. Obviously it's probably not the fastest and most performance oriented Mini. Uh, definitely the R56 would be something that's more set up for that. But overall, uh, I really enjoy having that level of performance that this car does have. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.